Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did that on her yourself? Hello, hello. Welcome. I am back with my roomie, Cassie. Hi. And today we are going to kick it off with talking about dating because we're back on the streets, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So, but uh, you want a piece of this? <laughs> <laughs> the streets were calling my name. Yeah. She had to come back. She was gone for a little bit, but she came back. Not long. Two months. Two months. <laughs> It felt like forever. It really it did. Like we were gone forever. <laughs> she had this little one. boyfriend thing, but fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> I, so I want to apologize first and foremost for not putting anything out in July. It was busy. It was crazy. Oh, that's the washer and dryer. Uh, we are doing this in my room and my washer is super loud. It's broken. I think I broke it. I, I think just, all of us. I just tend to overlook There's three shit. girls in one house. Our washer <laughs> is broken. It is what it is. I don't... Until it explodes, I think we're good. Yeah, with our house. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We have insurance. That's what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's for. Um, we're going to talk about dating because we, both of us, are in the position of using dating apps and kind of... I'm not that much older than her, but I am older, so... My perspective, barely. barely, my perspective, her perspective, and what we've both gone through as women in the dating scene. On the streets. On the streets. Yeah. Getting well, into entanglements and shit. Oh, entanglements for sure. I was just <laughs> in one. What day was it? When did I go over there? Uh, Friday. Yeah. How Four was, days ago? How was it? I was in an entanglement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were. Was it good? It was fun. Mm -hmm. It See, that's weird. all that matters. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun and that was it. Yeah, that's okay. So, we are talking about dating apps and how much dating fucking sucks. I hate dating. I do too. The whole thing of like starting over with someone and yeah. like getting to know them, like, when's your birthday? Like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't, am, am I, I going to last out? long enough am for I your birthday? Am I going to hang out with you for like one time or is it going to be like yeah. multiple times? Because if not, like, I don't really want to talk. Yeah. You know? I, and it sucks starting conversations because most of the time it's pointless conversations. It really is. Or when you're on dating apps, they don't even, like, want to have conversations with you. Or when they do, they're really boring. It's so boring. Or pickup lines. That's what we were talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, the pickup lines. Oh, they make me want to barf. <laughs> Earlier today, <laughs> I got one. He said... You're a fly bird, I'm a fly bird, so let's be fly together. And I was like, It's wow. kind of funny. I mean, it, it did make me laugh because it was Bonus cheesy lines. as fuck. Let's see. But today, we were looking at some of the pickup lines that she got, and they're actually, they're actually pretty. Where was that one? Oh, pretty great. wow, are you from a museum? Because you're a piece of art, hard eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't even... Yeah, I, uh, I, w I can't. honestly, where do you guys come up with these pickup lines? I'm terrible. I don't know any pickup lines. I'm fine with just, hey. Yeah. How you doing? Hey. How you doing? Like the good old Just Joey. don't send me a gift, though, because I don't know how to respond to those. You know, like, whether they're, like, the, <laughs> the big. Like, what am I supposed to the do? The big right? wink. Yeah, like, the big wink. Mm -hmm. Give me the finger shooter thingies. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, I think most of the time. I'm straightforward, like, hey, how are you? Uh, do you want to meet up kind of thing? Because most yeah. of the time when I'm on these dating apps, whether it's guys or girls, most of the time they like you and then they don't respond. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Ugh. You're one of those. Yeah. Oh, my God. Give me your attention. I don't really want it, but I'm going to be upset if I don't get it. <laughs> um. So that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't really I'll want at your least, attention. I'll at least say, hey, what's up? Most of the time, though, when I'm on, I, I'm a very picky person anyways, and so when I'm on there, if you're not going to talk back to me, I'm just going to unmatch you, because what's the point of us matching if we're never going to meet up? That's probably why I got reported on Tinder and then got banned. Yeah, um, how did you get back on Tinder oh, again, Cassie? Uh, my sister. I used her phone number. I was FaceTiming her, and I was like, hey, dude, I'm going to send you a confirmation code. Yeah. I need you to send it back to me. And she did, and 
boom, your girl's back on Tinder. Um, how old's your sister? Thirteen. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. I mean, technically, your sister isn't on Tinder. It's no, I was like, Chloe, I'm using it for Tinder. She's like, what's Tinder? And I was like, I'll tell you later. <laughs> I'll tell you when you're older. And it matters. Not a proud moment, but I was bored. <laughs> what happens when you get back in the streets and there's really not a lot to choose from. I mean, I feel like it'd be better if the clubs were open. See, and that's another thing. Dating now, honestly, I don't know how people do dating. We go to parks. Meeting people. Well, just like meeting people kidding. without social media, like without Tinder. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that. to do that because I'm not just going to go walk up to someone and be like, hey, I think you're cute. What's your name? I did that one time. Did it work? Yeah, yeah. it did. <laughs> it, was, it was like a few years back. Oh my god, not a few years back. Last year. I just feel like 2020 just took so long to fucking get through. Dude, I'm still in March. We're now. still in... Yeah. It's almost fall. So it was last year, and me and my friend Cynthia, we went out downtown. And I'm at a bar waiting for her, but turns out I was at the totally wrong fucking bar. Of course. Yep. And But I am at the bar ordering a drink, and this dude and his friend were sitting right next to me, and one of them looked over at me, and he was like this rugged lumberjack looking dude so i was like eh, why not and i looked over and i was like man you you're really fucking attractive and he was like me <laughs> I was like, yeah you you're really attractive and he goes thank you and i was like you're welcome and i just walked away because then i felt really awkward because did he follow you no but him and his buddy were just staring at me at the other end of the bar because i sat at a table waiting for cynthia to find me and then they came up to me and Cynthia when she got there because they saw us leaving. Do you remember that one time we were at Lodo's and those two guys came and played that game with us? And they guessed all of our guesses? Oh! I don't remember. That was creepy. That was weird. Yeah, that was really creepy. But it worked because it got our attention. It definitely worked. And that one guy was really fucking hot. Yeah, what happened? I don't know. I don't know either. They said they had to find their friend and then they never came back. So I don't know <laughs> if it was us or if they really <laughs> couldn't find their friend. They were really <laughs> sick of our attention. So they were like, we no. have to go find our friend. I couldn't believe, you were going to take one for the team because that guy was ugly. He was. I was going to be that girl. Yeah. The solid wingman taking the ugly guy home. But the other one was hot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And they knew everything that we were thinking. It was really weird. It was kind of creepy. Yeah. But it's worked yeah. before. Yeah. But you can't do that now. Where the fuck am I going to do that at? Because I have to Walmart. wear a mask. This is most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't roll up on somebody and do talking with a mask on it just ruins the vibe yeah because what if someone with good teeth yeah and i'm a big teeth person if you have disgusting teeth i can't i can't do it mm -mm. take care of your teeth is that kind of shady to say what like if you have gross teeth even though like you're like 10 out of 10 everywhere else yeah. but if you have fucked up teeth uh but i feel like teeth can you make an exception you always <sighs> get them fixed yeah I, like but here's my thing if i spent the money to get mine fixed bitch you better be doing something with your teeth they're really, really hot. Maybe. Maybe I, I could maybe make one exception. Maybe. Like that one, the one that I showed you today. Yeah, yeah his teeth yeah. were kind of off. But he was hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, exception. Exception. I just think dating now sucks. It's always sucked, but now it's even worse because of, like, you can't go to social events. Or no. most people don't even want to go out. I mean, just dating in general, like, 2020, like, are you talking? I don't know. Are you guys dating? I don't, I don't know. know. Are you gonna like, hang out again? How do you? Make, I don't know. I don't even know how to make somebody like my significant other anymore. Like, how do I make them my boyfriend or girlfriend? Are you just like, hey, we went on a few dates. You're my boyfriend now. You're my boyfriend. <laughs> You're my boyfriend. <laughs> or you is know. it? Do you have a legitimate conversation? I don't know. I haven't had a. I've only had two serious relationships in my life. I don't I know really how. I only had one. Yeah. And even then, he didn't ask me to be his girlfriend. He's like, so you want a date? And I'm like, well, yeah, like we've been doing this for like five months. Like, I just need? figured. And he's yeah. just like, all right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. and that was it. <laughs> Same yeah. story when we got married. Are you sure you want to do this? Because like, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Did it work out? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. We both, we both been there, done that, and now we're back into the circle of just 
getting to know somebody's sex, even as even as just friends, right? Just finding new friends. Anybody that talks to us, they're like, oh yeah, who you hang out with? We're just like ourselves, our, ourselves, our roommates. Just finding new friends sucks because you have to find common ground. Well, yeah. You have to like other things together. I was just talking about that. I was like, I need to meet some new friends because like when she's gone, <laughs> I'm so fucking bored. Hanging out with my dog is cool for like 10 minutes, yeah. but she doesn't want my attention anyways. <laughs> she just runs away or just yeah. goes lays by herself. Yeah. And I'm real bored. The only people I hang out with are you and like Billy and Jess. And that's been my group since I joined the military. So. Yeah, I'm real nervous when I move. Yeah. What if I make friends? You're gonna have to make new friends. I'm gonna have to go out of my way and be nice Ugh. to people. Yikes. Ugh. That's another thing. Having to just be nice to people. I mean, we're nice, it's just... We are, but sometimes it's just... It's hard. <laughs> it's hard when you don't want to be nice. You just want to be polite, and you want to get to know them first before you start judging them. But then really, you are judging them. Yeah. You're just being nice about it. All the time. <laughs> Me it's every rough. day. Yeah, it's rough. But if anybody has any tips to help us dating... Do we want to date, or do we just want to have fun? Right now, I'm having fun. I'm all same. up in these streets right now. Oh, same. So I'm having a However, yeah. however, I get nervous about actually hanging out with them. You do? I don't know why. I mean, I get... I feel like that's a common thing, to just be nervous to hang out with somebody. But, like, then I don't. <laughs> <laughs> then you just don't hang out with them? Yeah. Oh. The only reason that I hung out with so-and-so yeah. is because you guys were there. And if it was weird... Yeah, we then could we could leave. leave. But that's if it's just, like, one-on-one, -on -one, like, I get real uncomfortable and awkward, <laughs> and my hands are clammy... <laughs> Cammy has. <laughs> I I'm actually pretty good about meeting new people. I internally I'm freaking out for sure. Oh same. And most of the time I have a drink or two before meeting them, but just to calm my nerves so I'm not so What was your worst date? Uh I think that guy that came over. Oh <gasps> I forgot about him. Yeah. You didn't get the hint. Stage. He's one from Wisconsin. <laughs> He's from Wisconsin, same as me. Yeah. Most people are cool, but no, this guy was not he was fucking cool. He was weird. He called us out on all of our lies that we told him, but still didn't leave. Hello. Yeah. And then drank four white claws and didn't want to drive. Like, you went to UW Madison. <laughs> You're being a pussy. <laughs> Get out of here. Like, we are not condoning drinking and driving. It's no. very bad for you. But four white claws are 5%. And you drank them over like, the span of like six hours. You had plenty. Bye. Yeah. Get out of here. You can't be in this house. And we went to get food for everyone except for him. Big hint. Yeah. Didn't take it. Yeah. No. He stayed for way over his time limit. He, he did. And he was good. not cute. Total catfish. Not, total catfish. Also, okay, guys. Listen. Listen up. Guys and girls. Because it's I've had the same with girls, too. If you're going to put pictures on social media... Make sure they're current. Make sure they're current. Oh. And... It, it kind of at least looks like you, sort of, because eventually, if you are going to meet up with us, we're going to fucking see what you look like. <laughs> like, it's not just going to be like, oh, I just picture your picture on the actual body of a face, and it's fine. It doesn't correlate. Did you Snapchat him at first? You FaceTimed him, didn't you? I FaceTimed him. So on FaceTime, he looked, he looked, because he only showed me his face and up. Did he wear ugly shoes? Ugly shoes are also a big no-no. Like, if you have ugly shoes, I can't. <laughs> Ugly shoes? I've actually never paid attention. Oh my god. Shoes are, but I, I guess, guess or like, no, like how your teeth are. <laughs> shoes are for you. <laughs> they are. I, well, I, unless they roll up in some, like, dad shoes, like the ones that they use to, like, mow the lawn in, I don't really notice shoes like I notice teeth. Oh god. So you're god. a shoe girl. Yeah. Your shoe game doesn't have to be on point, yeah. but, like, but if you're wearing sandals. Yeah. No. Those ugly ones. Or, like, Crocs. What about Crocs? If somebody <laughs> rolled up wearing Crocs, please tell me no. I don't know. Oh, my God. I Crocs? don't know. Are you kidding me? But, like, if they're wearing hiking boots Crocs. with, like, skinny jeans and they're cuffed, by, You're in the city. <laughs> we're not in the Anirodics <laughs> or the Rocky Mountains. Like, we're not hiking I can't. anywhere. Yeah, like, you're in, you're walking blocks of the city. What the hell do you think? They're comfortable. I don't know. That, so are Vans. Vans are or Nikes. Yeah. Pick your poison. Just not fucking hiking boots. Goddamn. <laughs> You're in Colorado. I'm in the city. That's true. If That's I wanted to go true. hiking, I would go to the mountains. Yeah. But you hate hiking, so you'd never be in the mountains. I'm trying to go hiking tomorrow with a new friend. 
Yeah. We'll see how this goes. <sighs> I really yeah. like it. Yeah. I wish I liked it, but... I don't mind it, but it can't be a long hike. Like, one of my friends wants to do a 14-er. And nope. I'm not about it. Who? They want to, like, camp. One of Billy's friends, they want to, like, backpack and, like, camp up a 14-er. And at first I was drunk, so I was like, yeah, let's do it! And then Sober Me is like, no the fuck I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Yeah. Mm-mm. No. Not for me. No, ma'am. Okay, so here's another question. When you meet up with somebody, what conversations do you start with? Because, so, like, when you met up with that dude at the dog bar, like, what did, what conversation? Dude, I was drunk. <laughs> I was 100% drunk. He told me the next time we hung out, he's like, it was kind of weird because he just stared at my mouth the whole time. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> I'm it's weirdo. because I was drunk and yeah. I was trying to make sure what I was hearing was the words that, that he was saying. saying. <laughs> and it so, came off weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can only pay attention to so much when you're drunk. Um, Honestly, I don't remember. I think it was like work and... Yeah. what he did like the last weekend yeah. mm -hmm. well I went on this date and he I don't know he's one of those people oh the most recent one yeah the most recent one that I went on he he's really nice but he's a cop and for those of you that have never gone on a date with a cop have never had a conversation with a cop I am in the career field that I'm surrounded by cops all the time so I can handle those conversations but when it's on a date and all you're talking about is work and shooting people and just like like your experiences. And he wasn't bragging about it necessarily, but he was like getting in depth about shit that he's been through. And That's I, a little early for a first right? date. Yeah, first date conversation. Didn't he had politics too. Yeah, and oh he don't God. talk about politics. No. Unless you both have met and you both said like, you're Republican, liberal, or like, and you can agree on it and talk about politics, great, but if you don't mention politics at all and you bring that up on a first date, not good conversation to have. I don't want to talk about it in general because no. do I know what I am? No. <laughs> do I care to have a conversation about it? No. <laughs> yeah. Because we, he started talking about it and he kept telling me, oh my God, you're so liberal. Liberal. You're so liberal. Right. And I was like, no, you're not. am I? Am mm -hmm. I really? Or are you just reading this all wrong because I'm not super fucking Republican? I just, I he see. so annoying. I see sides to everything. <laughs> just, also we've noticed that a lot of <laughs> cops are bald. A lot of cops are bald. I haven't really. Yeah, I don't know. There's very few that I know that are. No, there's a lot. Like, even in our career field, there was like. They're bald. I made a joke. There was like five of them in room, one room. It was a stupid fucking joke. <laughs> and my friend literally was on the ground laughing. <laughs> About bald guys. <laughs> I've seen some attractive bald guys, though. Growing up mm -hmm. and, like, seeing what I've been attracted to, I really never thought being attracted to bald guys was something that I'd be into, but, I mean... They're not bad. However, if they're wearing a hat backwards, first of all, hats backwards, wow. And then you take the hat off and you're bald? I'm shook. <laughs> what happened? Put your hat back on. <laughs> Put your hat back on. I did. I was really into this guy... When I first saw him, he had a hat on, and he was he was so hot. He took the hat off, and he just had this giant fucking forehead. And I was like, "Do I look past this? Is this okay? Can I? Should I just tell him to wear the hat?" Like, yeah, when you're having sex, yeah, just put, just the, put hat the hat on. on. Backwards, is or is fine. that just like asking a girl to put a bag over? Your head? <laughs> just put the pillowcase on. Don't breathe. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. You're into this. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I know. What's worse, having a bald guy or one with like a receding hairline where he's bald on top but has hair by his ears? That. That's way worse. Receding hairline. Yeah. yeah. If you don't have a full head of hair, just shave that fucking yeah. shit off and own being bald. Because now you just look like a hot mess with patches of you hair. You look all like over a 50 year old. Yeah. And what, you're 25? Mm. Yikes. Baby Bad yikes. jeans. But yeah. it's okay, you can't help it. <laughs> There's hair plugs. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if you want to survive in this world, spend some money Is, on yourself. Don't they have, like, Bosley just for men? Did you ever see those commercials when you were a kid? <laughs> I think one time I bought Bosley just for men for my dad Stop. as a joke, and it really did hurt his feelings. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. 
I okay. love you. My dad's bald too. My dad's not even bald. He's oh, got that a was full rude. Head. <laughs> He's got a full head of hair. It was just me being a dickhead. Wow, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you being a dickhead. No way. Dude, same. Mm -hmm. But it's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, what else about dating? It just fucking sucks. <sighs> Plus, I'm leaving. Yeah. In six months, so do I want to start something? No. no. That's a bad idea. Terrible idea. Plus, if I'm not expecting it, it'll probably fucking happen. Yeah. I'm not trying to start anything. If they, if something happens, great. I just feel like I'm at a t <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I feel like I'm at a time in my life where I am so okay with being single. Like, sometimes I cry myself to sleep, no, but who doesn't? Do you really? Sometimes. Sometimes I'm just fucking sad. I feel that. Sometimes <laughs> I'm real sad. Especially then, like, if I've been drinking and I'm in, like, one of those moods, and then I just go to bed and watch Grey's Anatomy and cry. Because oh, my God. I, I remember one time yeah. I was real sad one day, and, like, I had to come upstairs because, like, when I cry, my eyes get all puffy. Yeah. And, like, I waited. I was like, okay, it's, it's been, like, 30 minutes. It's I'm not crying okay. anymore. And then I kind of like, are you crying? No. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm not sad. <laughs> Dude, sometimes I just get sad, and that's okay. But for the most part, I have... I, there's no stress in my life. Other than me, like, making myself sad because of my own goddamn feelings. Oh my god, I don't make but, myself sad all the time. Yeah. I don't know why I do it. Just, I'm a fucking female with emotions. I, I don't do it anymore. Only when that person was... Yeah. 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 I'd make myself sad all the time. Yeah. I don't mean to make myself sad. How did Riding the how bike would make myself sad. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> working like, out working makes out? myself sad. Oh no, I fucking love that shit. Okay, I love working out, and I've been really good about working out lately. I just, I get sad when I don't see a difference in my body. But I am getting stronger. I'm getting a lot stronger. I just, I'm not fucking skinny yet, and it's bullshit. I know, I did five spots today and my booty's not popping yet, so... The fuck? I, my booty has grown. I will oh, yeah, it that. has. Thanks. I stare at it all the time. <gasps> Thank you! Oh, my god damn, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. Uh, yeah, I just, I just want to be skinny. I just want to be strong. I feel like this be... I do want to be strong, too. I just feel like I would find the love of my life. Oh, that just reminded me. Oh, That's Jesus. another question I wanted to ask. Have you ever approached somebody at the gym? Um, no, they've always approached me. <laughs> Whatever. No, one's, <laughs> no one's ever approached me. That's rude. I had a guy yesterday. But what it wasn't. Say yesterday? <laughs> I can't help it that they just think <laughs> I'm fucking strong, okay? <laughs> no, it was because I was asking him if he was done using it so I could use it, whatever. Because yeah. I was doing like kickbacks. Mm hmm. He goes, yeah, it's all yours, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, what's your name? And I think his name was Theo. 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 Weird nice. name. Yeah. But Old man's name. He was older. Oh, okay. But yeah, he was, like, okay. really motivating. And I was like, yeah, Theo, like, I got it. Like, we're going to do these 20 kickbacks three times. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about it with a few friends. I don't think there's a good way to approach somebody at the gym. Like, I'm pretty sure I found the love of my life, like, seven times at the gym, and I can't say anything. Because how... I don't want anybody coming up to me when I'm trying to work out. But what if they're hot? I have rusty Mitch face really bad at the gym. Yeah, I don't want anyone too. to come talk to me, but they still come. Yeah. I like, that one guy... Time. I don't remember his name. Um, he would text me, and then... He was cool oh, until yeah. he started texting me, and then, like, he wasn't cool, cool. anymore. Have you seen him since? No. Mm. Which is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Might be awkward. I'm gonna try to talk. <sighs> I mean, like, I'd be like, hi. <laughs> I don't want to go on a date with you. <laughs> Let's just work out and it'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. I, think that's fine. I just, it just makes me sad because I feel if it was appropriate to walk up to somebody at the gym to just have a conversation. But then I'm like, I'm not wearing makeup, I'm super sweaty, and most of the time I'm wearing these giant t-shirts. I'm looking like a lesbo in the gym. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure guys, and you, you know what I'm talking about, and I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure guys are just like, well, she's not into dudes. Oh my god, I'm crying. Because you do. <laughs> I, love that. I wear like big tees. 
I'm mismatching and she'll wear like galaxy freaking leggings with cool socks but her socks go almost to her fucking knees and then she'll wear galaxy shoes like yeah what's going on <laughs> the shirt does not match <laughs> and yeah my shirt never matches what I'm wearing ever yeah I'm looking I'm looking real hot in the gym guys but oh, you got a booty so it's fine yeah I know people look at you because like I watch them not in a creepy weird way but like I like to watch people yeah because like I'll watch them through the mirror and I'm like I see you fucking looking at me right now if you could stop <laughs> that'd be great <laughs> yeah I because I listened to a call her daddy episode and they talked about somebody asked them like how can I approach this girl at the she was like a milf and he was like I'm trying to approach her how do I do this and they were like well maybe at like the water fountain and in my head I'm like are we fucking 12 no. Like, what if I'm filling on my water bottle and I'm like, so what are you hitting today? Um, nothing. <laughs> Not you. I'm literally leaving. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird how that no. just happened. I just showed up. I don't, yeah. know you do that. I don't think. Another thing about the gym that pisses me off is when couples go to the gym and they are like making out. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> if you're touching in the gym, yeah. I literally want to vomit and I'm going to throw a 45 pound weight at you. <laughs> I cannot stand that. Even it's a peck so... on the cheek. Ugh. No. Like when they're holding hands walking into the gym. No. No. Best believe if we're dating and we're going to the gym together, I'm not working out with you. No. I'm we're not, not going to make any type of eye contact unless I'm horny as shit and I <laughs> wink at you, maybe. Hey. But <laughs> <laughs> I but see you until, over there, babe. <laughs> until that happens. Yeah. No. No. No eye contact. No. Maybe a hug because, like, I see friends or whatever. I'm like, oh, my God, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I, I, that's fine. I, I, but, but when you're a couple and because makes you want to vomit. I don't know. I went to the gym without you and <laughs> I was staring at this one guy and I wasn't it wasn't because I thought he was attractive. Because you were zoning out. I was zoning out mm -hmm. and it was just he was in front of me and the his girl came up behind me and I turned and looked because she had a booty on her. So I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> but then <laughs> she go she like beelines towards her boyfriend and kisses him right in front of me. And then she kind of like side eyes and looks at oh, me, and I was God. like, "I'm sorry, you're insecure that you have a hot boyfriend and the girls stare at it." What? First of all, I was zoned the fuck out thinking about donkeys or something in my head. Probably. Yeah. So <laughs> I wasn't even. And I don't know where donkeys came from, but I'm sure I was thinking about something random like that. But I wasn't even interested, and it was just one of those things where she was like peeing on her boyfriend to like mark her territory, and I was like, oh. "I've had girls do that." And I'm not really staring at them. Like, yeah, I'll just glance at them, and then they kiss, and I'm like, "Whoop, all <laughs> yours, girl. Don't yeah. want any of that." No, I'm not a really good at public affection, anyways. Like, I'll hold your hand, and like, I don't know, but I don't, I don't really like kissing when people make out in public. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like. It makes me uncomfortable. Except for when I'm drunk. It's a bad <laughs> trait that I have. I think a lot of a lot of people when they're drunk. They're, well, a bunch of inhibitions go out the window when you're drunk oh, anyway. Oh, all my morals fucking thrown <laughs> to the side. See you tomorrow. <laughs> right. Can I get you all back? All my regrets. <laughs> yeah. Like, like when I went to Vegas, the... yeah. I think I was making out that dude for like four hours. And, and she you would not. You claim to tell me to stop, but okay, I don't remember any bitch. of that. We're in Vegas, and <laughs> he wasn't. He ugly, was not. He was not cute. But he was. He wasn't cute. totally ugly though. He wasn't However, cute. No, there was cuter options. There was way cuter options. But, but for whatever my, reason, my goggles were she, on. <laughs> she was totally okay with making out with this dude, and me and our other friend were trying to tell her, "Hey, girl, like maybe we should move on, go somewhere else." And then we'd like walk away, and then she'd look around, and she'd be gone, and she'd be over making out with the ugly dude again. I don't remember you telling me not to. Vegas was a lot of fun, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Vegas was a lot of fun. It's stuff like that that I miss. Like, when no. when can we do that shit again? Well, if the military would let us fucking take me. Yeah, that too. That fucking sucks. Next being, time. Being stuck in Colorado isn't bad, but when you actually want to go do shit, that doesn't involve staying around this area. It yeah. sucks. Because you can do it any other day. Because, like, I'm really tired of seeing the hoes on Tinder around here. Like, I need to go to another state. Oh, my God. Like, when we were in Vegas, when I woke you up, <laughs> we went to sleep at, like, 8 p.m., and I woke up at midnight because, you know, Vegas never fucking sleeps. <laughs> I'm like, Carly. Yeah, I sleep. I sleep. Let's go out to the bars. Mm -hmm. What did you tell me? Go back to sleep. <laughs> I, like, patted her on the back like a child. I was like, just go back to sleep. It's 
<laughs> I was wide awake. I was horny. I was hungry. She was supposed to be my wingman, and she just told me to go back to sleep. So yeah. here I am on Tinder, but I was too scared to go to some random fucking yeah. hotel room by myself because yeah. you know that's smart. You shouldn't. Sh Sharded. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> What is up with me today? I cannot fucking talk. Yeah, you shouldn't um, do those things. I didn't, so I walked to the CVS, got Chex Mix, and, you know, hoping I would see a bae that would just yeah. pull me into the room so we could bang, but, you know, it wasn't the case. <laughs> didn't work like that. It didn't. But was that the same night that um, the weirdo guy was there? The one that walked us back, the one that they made out with? He was there. He was a stage five clinger. Oh, yeah, he was a stage five. So, for anybody out there... If you are staying over the night and you haven't been dating, you're just there to fuck and get out. Leave. Leave. Get Go that home. Bread, get the head, then leave. <laughs> Peace out. That is what I like to live by right now. <laughs> but yes, I don't do that. <laughs> do it or don't. Do whatever, it. Whatever. Do it. You get that bread, get the head, then leave. I'm just trying to fuck and I'm trying to leave. Yeah. Go home, sleep in my bed. Yeah. But when you stay over and then. It's an awkward conversation I... to have when the other person, like, you just want them to fucking go. See, it was, I wanted to go one time, but he wanted me to stay the night. And I did, because I was like, I got nothing else to do. <laughs> I'll stay the night. And then he was like, well, I want to be the little spoon. And I was like, boy! <laughs> I am not the big spoon. I don't know what you're thinking. This is weird. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like, if it's just like a hit it and quit it type thing I'm there having a good time and then I go home and I sleep with my fucking dog but if you're dating or if you've been if they're like your fuck buddy for a little while I get it because I've done that but stage five clinger, clingers are just really yeah he was a bad one the biggest one because what conversation <laughs> I'm trying to be nice but what conversation do you have with somebody when you're just like can you go home now it's like you just ask him yeah Okay, I, I mean, if that. you're never going to see him again. That's true. Like, hey, I don't really want to hang out with you anymore. If you could leave. <laughs> That'd be great. I'm going to get myself off since you couldn't do it. <laughs> that would make them feel real bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, it would. Yeah, it really would. That'd be rough. I, don't say that. But Don't say that. If they were Even though we know it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't say that. Keep that to yourself. Yeah, but I mean, like, he even slept on the floor. Like, go back. I wonder if he just didn't want to, like, walk through his... Hotel. He literally could have got an Uber because they were on base. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. They yeah, he could have just got a fucking Uber. Well, you know, some people just don't get the hint. I had an Adam on Snapchat like that same day. Yeah, because he was like, "Hey, how are you doing?" Like, you want to? No, <laughs> I was drunk. That's not what this vacation is for. No, <laughs> not trying to get a bay. Do you remember that other guy in Vegas? The they had the bachelorette party for the really old, ugly guy, and he literally only wanted me, and he tried to kiss me, but his friend took one for the team and pulled me and kissed me instead. I love that guy. He was Thank you. Yeah. You're probably not listening, mm -hmm. but you but were you the were, shit. You were appreciated that You were that really time. fun. So, you know what's great, though, is, like, when you find random people out like that, and they just take one for the team, and they, like, got your back. Even yeah, though they he, don't know you at no. all, and they just, like, they know. He knew that I didn't want anything to do with this old, ugly, <laughs> this ugly old guy. Yeah. And he just, he just swooped me up yeah. like a man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Appreciate you. Do you remember his name? No. <laughs> no, no, he yeah. was, he was, he was hot, though. He wasn't ugly. We were texting for a second to go like the next bar together, mm -hmm. but you know, nothing more after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those were our adventures in Vegas. It was actually a lot of fun. And we didn't have to spend any money because mm -hmm. we're girls. Mm -hmm. We were, <laughs> we're semi attractive individuals. Oh my god, not apparently today. <laughs> yeah, today. <laughs> um, she met, she matched this dude on Tinder and he was like, Hey, so me and my buddy have this bet going that I'm gonna find a hot chick for him on Tinder and he's gonna find one for me. And so she's texting him like, Well, I have a roommate. <laughs> if like you're interested, we can go on a double date. And she sent him a picture of me, which, which didn't have any filters. She looked bomb. I approved of all of them. Yeah. And then he sends me a picture of his friend. And he has a fucking filter on. I was like, first of all, unfair. We yeah. sent you good pictures. He's like, well, he looks the same in all of them. And I was like, it has a filter on them. No, the fuck he doesn't. Yeah. And then he sent one, and we were like, Ugh. did not look cute whatsoever. 
And so I was like, yeah, she says no, but um, thanks for the offer. And he was like, she's not that good looking anyway. She should lower her standards. And I was like, who are <laughs> you? You are not hot enough to be telling me this right no, now. First no, of all, that's my best friend. Second of all, what the hell do you think about me if I denied you? Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. Jake, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Jake from State fuck Farm. Fuck you, Jake, and your friend. Your friend is ugly, and I'm sorry. I he was go ugly. Out, I wouldn't go out with him anyways. And yeah. he was like, well, he wouldn't go out with you either. And I was like, okay, bye. And he just got straight up butt hurt. He really did. Yeah. He wasn't But I was like, you. whatever. I think I'm hot as fuck, so it doesn't you are, so I don't know. We just hype each other up. Maybe we're not as We literally as we have pulled, we've pulled we have. such hot guys, and yeah. this guy was like a four. Yeah. That's don't nice. tell me that I'm ugly. <laughs> I know I'm not. I yeah. have my moments. I definitely have my moments, but, but I'm not that ugly. I'm not a four. <laughs> and I will not match with the four. Bitch, we're so, a fucking bye. 10 plus. Oh. <laughs> just kidding that's a lot of confidence right there that i don't have <laughs> we talk shit but actually we're, we're insecure we're insecure it's fine it's fine <sighs> cry sometimes <laughs> it's okay it's okay to cry i love how we went from like <laughs> talking about dating and then crying and then las vegas <laughs> and then <laughs> to this fucker we just went everywhere there's okay. really because no... I mean it was still dating. Yeah. It was still Tinder. Yeah. Was Hinge. Like oh my god. Crazy Cameron from Hinge. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, That's you gotta watch out for the crazy ones. I think it's I think it all depends on how honest a person wants to be on that first date. Cause some people like I hold back, right? I'm I'm a hundred percent same. I'm crazy. Same. And what's the fuck is up? <laughs> But I'm not gonna show that right away. No. Some people, some people don't give a fuck. They just throw it all out there. No, because like when what's his name didn't text me his address to come over, I was like, yo, I could be real crazy right now. Mm -hmm. But it's like a second or third time you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be crazy. I'm yet. gonna hold back. I'm just gonna be salty and not say shit. No, crazy camera did not hold back. No. He yelled at me the first time we hung out. In and the parking lot. In the parking lot. And then when we were at Jackson's, the bar, mm -hmm. he was real insecure, and I know a lot of people there, a lot of guys, thanks Tinder. Anyways, I was just saying hi to them. Thanks Tinder. <laughs> and he was trying to pull me away from them. Don't be insecure if you're going to yeah. date a bad bitch. <laughs> you just can't. You can't. It's not going to work out. I know a lot of people, a yeah. lot of them tend to be dudes because I'm a broad type of girl. I yeah. can't help it. Yeah. But yeah, no, he legit kept pulling me away, and you tried to steer him away. We told him we were going to go to Grizzly Rose, yeah. or we were going to go to a different bar. Tried to ditch him, and he just yelled at me in his face. He's like, if you don't like me, then fucking tell me. And I was like, well, I don't like you, <laughs> but you're not going to fucking yell at me right now. Yeah, it was real weird. I had a block him on everything. Yeah. That's weird. When I talk to guys, like when I first meet people, and... Even with like girls on a first date that I have with them, when I'm talking about my friends, and especially when I tell them my best friend's a dude, I see the expression on their face. Like, it kind of takes them back a little bit. Why? I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just because they're kind of insecure that my best friend is the opposite sex that I am. I feel like, okay, so as a girl yeah. and having a guy best friend, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. it's just a friend I want to fuck with more or anything. Yeah. But if I was coming into a relationship with this dude whose best friend is a girl, mm -hmm. I don't know. You're you're going to have your doubts. I'm going to have just doubts. Because, yeah. yeah. And I think that's... Well, because of my past traumas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they affect me. <laughs> I just think... It's a valid thing to be concerned about. However, it just kind of sucks because it kind of turns them off when I tell them my best friend's a guy. A little bit. I didn't believe you for the longest time that Billy was just your friend. I was like, no one does. No There's one does. no fucking way. Because I was when I met him at that pool party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I that's was, the first time you met him. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, there's no way. Yeah. But now, nah, there's no way they're fucking dating guys. <laughs> Hey, Billy. <laughs> hey, Billy, love you. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's I guess it's just so uncommon for a female and a male to be, like, truly best friends. And it just throws people off that you can have that connection with somebody yeah. without sexual innuendo or anything Yeah, well, like that. me and Jeffrey, you know, like, Lynn or whatever. Yeah. We were super tight, but then, like, I kind of backed off because he got married and whatever, has his own life, I'm mm -hmm. busy. But, like, we can still pick up, like, where you left off. Yeah, yeah. like, it's not weird. Yeah. And I think 
Like, it's okay to have the opposite sex as your friends. Especially because 100%. we are in a career field. We're in the military, first of all. And we're in a career field that's male-dominated. We don't really have a choice to pick through female friends. And most of them that and we work with... Even if we have female friends, I don't really want to actually be their friend. No. Because My only female dumbass. friends are like... <laughs> <laughs> my only off. female friends are the ones I grew up with in my hometown and you guys. Yeah, I have like two good female friends and yeah. we're all in the Air Force yeah. and then you guys. Yeah. I just, I, we just don't run into that many females <laughs> anymore that we. The military has turned me unsensitive and some people just don't like that and I can't help it. That's true. Yeah. So. That's very true. It is what it is. I'm, You're not going to be friends with everyone straight for forward forever. person. Yeah, that's too. I think. I can't talk. I think that <laughs> I was like mixing up my words. This is why I probably shouldn't drink when we do these podcasts. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'm having a great time, but the more I drink, the less I can actually pronunciate, and then I just talk too fast, and then I just jumble all my words up. I do that when I'm sober, and it's just really bad when I start drinking. Yeah. But I think that keeping your friends from like high school is has been like something like a privilege of mine because anybody you talk to anymore that's my age they only talk to a few people from high school mm -hmm. and i'm still <laughs> really fucking good friends with most of my high school class still no nope. do i keep up with them no but anytime i go home i just have a fucking party with everybody i grew up with and we just have a good fucking time i i don't yeah there's how like... many kids were in your class 68? Yeah, so we were close. Mine was like yeah. 59, 60, something like that. It's just... It was a small town. I'm not a small town person. Yeah. I'm more of a city life person. Yeah. I can't help it. Yeah. It is, but it is it is. when I go home, they just go to the bars, the same fucking bars every single weekend. Does that not get boring? Do I want to go to Lodos every single weekend? No. no. <laughs> can't even go to Lodos now. However, though, they... My hometown, like, they can go to bars. Like, it's normal right now not oh normal, yeah it's mass, the same because it's a small town so they need to have people come in to yeah, stand but you know? i just don't i don't want to see everyone all the time they have their small mind tendencies like yeah. small town small mind tendency like yeah. that's all that their life is where yeah. i've seen other things and yeah. i don't want to and that's hard that's hard to have conversations with yeah, people they that... can't get it they're like you're too good for the hometown yeah bitch i am because i've seen more <laughs> I outgrew you. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm heated. <laughs> I'm heated right now. I've been drinking. <gasps> I'm heating myself up. Yeah. I'm sweating. <laughs> oh my god. We've been talking for a good 40 minutes. So it's... Look at us go. Oh, Thanks. that wasn't... Well, I didn't want to... The microphone. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it says 43 minutes. Oh my goodness. We did good. Yeah. Talking about dating our lives. Vegas. Home. Home. Hometown life. It's because we're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we can just talk about anything. <laughs> Probably not a good thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably not a good thing. But I think we we did good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. I was gonna say something, but I'm just not gonna <laughs> say it. Okay guys. <laughs> well, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't that's unfortunate. I'm <laughs> sorry you just wasted 44 minutes of your life. I hope I made you laugh, though. Yeah. Yeah, we laughed. We always laugh. Yeah, we always laugh. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.